Today I guess we're talking about bees in class. What we have here behind me is a hive of probably a hundred thousand honeybees. They're currently working as hard as they can, trying to forage and do what bees do. So what I'm gonna what I'm gonna try to do is get in there. So what are these bees actually doing in this box? In the hive? Well, that's their hive, and you can see right here. They're kind of coming and going. They're flying straight out. They're flying around. Uh, they pretty much always go in here. So, so they're just they're heading out. And they're looking for flowers. They're looking for pollen. If you look at them close, maybe you can get in close. I don't know. Um, when they land, some of them you can see the pollen all over their legs. But the ones that are coming out, they're all cleaned off. So they go inside, and there's hives all through here. But what I want to show you, I want to show you kind of what it looks like inside. So I'm putting on protection because they are honeybees. There are probably a hundred thousand of them, and uh, they do sting. Huh. The kind of bee that dies when they sting you, so they don't like to do it. But when they do it, if they feel they are in imminent danger, they're going to sting. Yep. Now you can you can add smoke to the hive to kind of it doesn't calm them down, but what the smoke does is it makes them panic. So they immediately start trying to eat the honey, which boy. Which, uh, well, if you've ever had a big dinner, you want to just take a nap. That's kind of what they do. So here on top, that's kind of what they do when they're working. The top section of this hive is called a honey super. And what it means is underneath this, this thing, this vent, are several hives, or not hives, but several honeycombs that the queen can't get to. So she's in here, she's in one of these two boxes. She's bigger than everybody else, and her job is to lay eggs. And all these workers, their job is to make honey to feed the eggs, feed the larvae. So when I open it up here, as long as the bees are in good spirits, they're not gonna try to hurt me. So you can see them there kinda just walking all over the place doing their work. Sorry guys, I'm moving down here. They're really not very busy in here. So this is, is what a beehive looks like. Does inside. it have to do with the time of the year, maybe? This is uh, Yes, it does. We are in October. They, they make honey all year long. But at this time of year, A, they're slowing down because they're insects. And it's chillier. But B, they've made most of their honey for the year. Which is usually harvested by now. So this is a honeycomb that the bees have created. So if you look closely, you can see that they've got that very specific pattern that they're working on. And inside these little cells, they'll inject honey and then they'll cap it off. Mm. And these are pretty young honey cells, so they're not capped off right now. You can't actually see it. So where do they go get the honey from? How, well, do they are they foragers? They are. They're out there in the environment. They're finding things that have pollen. I see uh, these bees coming and going. So where, where are they coming from, probably? Well, a bee has about a, a full square mile of range. So they could be going a mile that way, a mile that way, a mile that way, anywhere they're they want to go. They're looking for nectar. That's what they eat. They eat all this nectar. And what the nectar does is it, well, it's kind of like their food, right? So they use that nectar. Ooh, that, that made them buzz. They use that nectar to create honey. And honey is what they use to feed themselves of the winter as well as... So they, they kind of store their food and they make honey to kind of store their food. That's right. And humans have figured out... That honey's pretty good. Honey's great. <laughs> now, this is the actual hive itself. This is where the bees are actually doing most of their work because this is where they're putting all their cells to make babies. Uh, watch out guys. And then they can feed the babies. They're feeding the babies the honey, right? Honey. And the queen will go and she'll lay an egg in each of these little pieces. And each of those eggs grows up to be a baby bee. But this honey part, this piece, the queen can't get in there. So the, the workers constantly fill it with honey and she never puts an egg in there. And humans figure so out the, how to So the harvest. queen is too big to get in there. Correct. So now they're, they're, they're producing all this honey 
and we thinking it's for it. the queen and the babies, right. but now the queen can't get in there, thus lots of honey is... Right. So you see them kind of working on that hive? Yep. So all they're doing is working. So lots of honey, now we can take the honey and eat it for ourselves. That's right. So what I can do to really show you kind of what it looks like when you got the bees on there, because they don't seem to care that I work on them, is I can, watch out guys, I can pop their hive loose. Hey, watch out buddy. And I can pull up an active one and you'll see that there are literally thousands and thousands of bees on it. And they're actively they're just producing honey. Yep. In those little, those little. Yeah, so they cells. go around, they forage, they bring the cell, the honey back, and they feed it, or they put it into a cell, and they take care of that cell just like we take care of babies. Sorry, guys. There you go. So here you go. There's a couple of hundred bees. If you get up close, you can see, I guess to your right in the upper corner down here near my face, kind of right here. You can see the hive. Where? Where? You can see honey, right oh, here. Yeah. You can see honey coming out of those cells. What they do there is they, they literally will cap off a cell. You can see it more clearly on this side where they've capped it off, and they're kind of storing it so that their babies have something to do. And you can even see the bees here, where they're they're putting their face into the cells, and they're they're just putting honey in there. And then the queen will, will lay eggs, and that's kind of what they do. And that's what they spend all their time doing. But the queen can't get in there one, when you put it she in. She can get in these. These. She can get in these. She, she can move around in these cells right here. The big difference between this set and this set is that, like I said, humans figured this one out. I'll put you guys back in there. Thanks, bees. Sorry, guys. Humans figured out that the queen's bigger than the, the rest of them. Mm -hmm. Quite a bit bigger, actually. So humans figured out that if we make this grate right there on the bottom, can you see that? Yeah. She's not big enough, or she's too big to fit in there. So she can't get up into this box. So that's that's the box where you get the honey for yourself. That's right, that's the free stuff, because the workers don't that's care. That's the free their honey job, for us. Yeah, their job is to make honey, take care of babies. Her job is to lay eggs. So. If we figure out a way to keep her out of there, we get free honey. All right, well, we're gonna have to bring some of uh, Dr. Farrell's honey into class <laughs> and try it. You know, honey, the neat thing about it is honey is uh, the, one of the only things, salt is the same way, but honey is the only thing besides salt on the planet that doesn't go bad. Yeah. They, they found honey in uh, the Egyptian pyramids that they could date back to about 2,000 years old that turned back into crystals, but when you heat it back up again, it turns right back into liquid honey. Interesting. Yep, neat stuff. So bees are amazing that way. And I didn't get stung, so. Yeah, I'm gonna walk backwards, because um, I have a short sleeve shirt on, and I don't want to get stung. Well, I'll tell you, when the bees are together like this, they care more about the queen than they care about you and I. All right, siding off.